on the Ferris wheel. Up high, the world never looks so real. Isn't that right? Because one night could last a thousand years. Roller coasters, let's go face our fears and forget them by the morning light. Let's go to London Park. What's wrong? You scared me, dude. <laughs> Didn't expect you to be leaning up against the counter when I opened up, especially since you're supposed to be taking the day off. Oh, sorry. No worries. What are you doing here so early anyway? I f figured some coffee would give me the pick-me-up I need. I kind of feel like I'm in a fog of sorts. Can I get a caramel macchiato? Coming right up. So, what's got you so worked up? Just thinking about Mandy. That's nothing new. But today's different. It's our six month anniversary. Wow. Time flies, I guess. What did you get her? I forgot. What's that now? I forgot to get Mandy a gift! Oh shoot. That's serious. How do you forget something like that? I don't know! I thought I had that covered when I guess I just forgot! We were supposed to exchange gifts today! There's no time for me to get her something, but I can't just give her nothing! What do I do?! I'll tell you what, let me add an extra shot of espresso to your coffee. Maybe that'll help you get your head screwed on right. Oh man, oh man, this is bad! Here you go, bud. Ow, 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 hot! <laughs> Look, I'm no good with these kinds of things, so I could try to come up with something, but I don't think you want that. Maybe you should go ask Helen. I'm sure she's great with these things. Of course! Helen is great at giving advice! Thank you so much! Oh, and thanks for the coffee. Ah! Knock knock! Oh. Hi, Ace. Sup, man dog? Oh, nothing. Just lamenting the fact that I couldn't get today off to spend with Jackson. Oh, right. It's like your guy's anniversary or something, right? What'd you decide on getting him anyway? I made a donation in his name to his favorite charity and got him a giant bag of his favorite candy. I realize he's not gonna like it if I get him something big and impractical, so this works better. Glad it all worked out. So, what about the date? Got anything planned, like a fancy dinner or something? Ace, it's only a six month anniversary. There's no need for us to get too fancy. We decided to go to the movies next weekend since we'll both be off then. It's not ideal considering we couldn't do today, but it's fine. Don't worry about it. You're right. There's no need to get too fancy. Here, let's change the subject. Look what I picked up from the gift shop. It's called Screwball's Eye. Ooh. <laughs> Ace, please put that away. It's creeping me out. <laughs> what? You're gonna tell me you're afraid of a stress ball? <laughs> it's painted to look like a real eyeball and it's covered in gross red lines. What do you think? I don't know, I think it's kind of cool. <laughs> oh man, guess that's my cue to head back to the gift shop. I'll catch you later, Mandy. See ya. Hey, take back your creepy stress ball! Come one, come all, best your friends in water gun combat! Pew 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 pew! Yeah, I'm talking to you. I bet you'd absolutely decimate your daughter at this game. Hey, Helen. Oh, hey! Jackson! What's up? You look... distressed. Did someone hurt you? Oh... Who do I have to- Helen, no. No one hurt me. I do need your help with something kind of embarrassing, though. Dude, relax. We've been friends for years. You really can't embarrass yourself around me at this point. I need help getting Mandy a present for our six month anniversary. What? You still haven't gotten anything yet? Isn't that like today? It's just, 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 just. I know. I really screwed up. It completely slipped my mind. I know you know Mandy pretty well, and you'd be able to help me sort this out, so 
Can you help me out? I'll owe you big time. Hmm. All right. I'm in. But we're gonna need all the help you can get. Winnie's working today, right? I think so. Why? No time to talk. We're on a time crunch here. Clear the way, everybody! Hey, wait up! Winnie! So glad we found you. Oh, hi guys! I'm so glad you're here. I just saw the cutest outfit on this website. There's no time for cute outfits. Yeesh. Must be serious then. What's wrong? Jackson forgot to get Mandy a gift for their six month anniversary. We're gonna need your help figuring something out. Oh my goodness. You've come just in time. A moment later and you would have totally screwed everything up. Way to sugarcoat it, Winnie. What? I'm just being honest. So what do I do? Well, if it was me, I'd love, love, love a ruby ring. It'd compliment my eyes. But you don't really have time for that. Okay, so what do we have time for? Okay. I think I've got something, but we're gonna need Talia, Pierce, and Marcel on this too. Great! I'm sure we can find them in no time. Wait, what about Ace? Why are we excluding him? Isn't he like, best friends with Mandy? He's totally gonna say something if we're not careful! Right. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's get a move on. Sounds good to me! Wait! Can we grab lunch first? I'm starving! Ugh. Can this day get any slower? Excuse me, sir. I would like to get on this ride. Yeah. Sure. Can your kids stand up against this sign? All right. I'm sorry, ma'am. But little Timmy here is too short to ride. Child swap is that away. <laughs> That's really such a shame. My poor little Brandon has been waiting all day to ride this one. Well, unfortunately, he's gonna have to wait a little longer until he meets the height requirement. It's for his own safety. Well, I think it really is too bad. Are you sure he can't get on? Positive. I can't believe we had to pay the full price of admission just for us to be denied what we paid for. Mom, it's okay. Oh, not now, Brandon. Mommy's working on getting you that ride you wanted. That guy said I was too short, though. Don't pay any attention to him. Look what you did. First you deny paying guests a part of their experience, and now you've made my son upset. Shame on you. <laughs> Looks like you're doing a fine job at that yourself. How rude. You kids really need to learn your manners. You really need to learn about ride safety. He's too short to ride. That's all there is to it. Can I speak to your manager? Uh... Of course, ma'am. I'll be right back. Thank you, finally doing something right. Don't you worry, sweetie. We'll be on that ride in no time. Can we get ice cream instead? Absolutely not. We're not leaving this spot until we get on this ride. It's what we paid for. We can have vegan ice cream when we get home. Oh. Man, I swear. The people in this park have one collective brain cell. Yeah, that looked rough. What happened? Some entitled parent thought she knew more than the graduate level roller coaster engineers that built these rides. What is with these people in thinking they can beat physics? I'm sorry you had to deal with that, but we've got bigger fish to fry. What's the big emergency? Jackson forgot to get Mandy a six month anniversary gift and needs our help getting something together last minute. Are you kidding me? Dude, you screwed up. Man, everyone's super honest today, huh? Sorry. How can I help? Well, right now I'm working on an idea, but it isn't super solid. We need to get Talia first, and then we're gonna meet at Café de Lune to brainstorm. Shoot! I only have six hours left before the park closes! We've gotta move fast! 
fast? No problemo. What's your idea? Wait, what are you doing? Getting us over to the Ferris wheel, duh. Meet us at the cafe. We'll be over in a bit. Hey, Talia. <laughs> yes, miss? Some kid got sick at the top of the Ferris wheel. Can you please deal with that while they come down? Ugh. Sure thing. Thanks, kid. I knew I could count on you. <laughs> hey! Huh? Talia! Jackson? Is that you? Meet us at Cafe de Luna as soon as possible! It's an emergency! Is everything okay? Can you bring me in a little closer? No time for that, my guy. You got the message across. Now let's skedaddle. Aw, oh, jeez. I see you like the gift I gave you. Only thing I've got to keep me occupied in here. It's been a pretty slow day. I don't know about you, but I see that as a blessing. Normally, I would, but I'd rather not be stuck in here when I could be spending the day with Jackson. And guess what? He hasn't responded to me in nearly six hours, and since I'm stuck in here, I can't even check and make sure he's okay. Well, if it's any consolation, I saw him talking to Pierce earlier. Oh, he's at the park. And he won't talk to me? Did I do something wrong? Manti, lighten up. I'm sure it's not that serious. He's ignored me for six hours. On our six month anniversary, tell me that's not serious. I'm sorry, man dog. If it makes you feel any better, I got his milkshake from Flips. Ace. Huh? Oh, here you go. <laughs> Thanks. What could he even be up to? Do you think he forgot? I'm sure he didn't forget. Maybe he's just planning something really special for you? We already agreed that we're not doing anything today, so that can't be it. Mandy, I don't know what to tell you. I know Jackson's never been like this before. This is super weird for someone as nice as him, but sitting around here and worrying about it isn't gonna get you anywhere. Want me to call Elliot in to cover you? They still owe me one. Ace, I appreciate it, but I really- Oh no, too late! <laughs> I'm already calling Elliot! <laughs> Ace, no! Hey, Elliot, can you come cover the ticket booth for a few hours? You can! Great. Looks like that settles it. You're coming with me. Fine. Let's go. hazelnut latte with soy milk and uh add a couple shots of espresso Ooh, changing it up i see what's the occasion i've got to be at peak performance to help jackson pull this off i'm here what's the emergency i screwed up did you break something not yet jackson forgot to get mandy's six month gift oh you made it seem urgent sorry Oh no, I'm glad you guys gave me an excuse to leave my post. You got me out of having to deal with someone yakking on the ferris wheel. Gross. Exactly. Since I'm already here, what can I do? Okay, so I've come up with a super romantic idea, and we can all help out. We're gonna need Mandy to come up to the firework viewing area at sunset. There's gonna be mood, lighting, music, food, and to wrap it all up, a special poem from Jackson. I can do the music. I've got my guitar in my car. Ooh, I'll set the scene. You can count on me for the food. I've got some candles in my backpack. Aren't those banned from the park? Don't ask. Now all you have to do is write something cute and sappy. <laughs> I'm sure you can do it. Wow, all this sounds like a lot. Are you sure you're all up for it? Of course we are. What are friends for? You guys really are the best. And then I said, why would you call them croissants? Should have just called them crescents. Scatter! Hey, Marcel. What's up, guys? Not much. Have you seen Jackson today? Uh, nope. 
Isn't he supposed to be off today? Yeah, but Ace said he saw him talking to Pierce earlier. Well, I'll let you know if I see him. Thanks, bro. We're gonna go ride some rides, but we'll be back later. Alright. See ya. It's go time. Man, that was fun, wouldn't you say? 11 hours. 11 whole hours, and I haven't gotten a single text from him or seen any sight of him. Something must be wrong. Maybe he went home. Maybe he's violently ill. Maybe he really is mad at me. Mandy, I'm sorry. Why don't we head over to his house and see- Oh, hi Jackson. What? Babe! How was your day? How was my day? How was my day? Pretty terrible thanks to you. I've been trying to get a hold of you for 11 hours. I honestly thought you were dead, but instead, you've just been messing around the park and completely ignoring me. Oh my god, babe, I didn't even realize. Save the excuses. It is our six month anniversary. The least you could do is tell me you're okay. I swear it's for a good reason though. What good reason could you possibly have to blow me off like that? You knew I was upset that I didn't get the day off, so why would you add insult to injury by completely ignoring me? What did I do to deserve that? Hey! What? Look around. To my dearest Amanda, who owns my heart, I knew that I'd love you from the very start. Your icy blue eyes have captured my soul. Without you, I would never feel whole. Despite all our rough spots, you always come through. You make me smile when I'm feeling blue. Six months of bliss, I've never felt such glee. Babe, you don't know what you do to me. So happy six months, I hope it's okay. I went against the agreement we made today. But I knew that a girl so special and sweet deserved to get an extra special romantic treat. Jackson, you did this all for me? I'm sorry to worry you all day. It took me a while to get this all together. <laughs> Even if it doesn't look like it. I forgive you. I forgive you. You really one-upped me. What'd you get me? A donation in your name and a bag of sorbet squares. So. You know me so well. You're so precious. God, you're such a dork. Oh, get a room. Pierce! I'm sorry he dragged you into this. You guys are really good friends. Don't worry about it. It was our idea anyways. What? Happy six months!